Good day, Grade 7 students. Welcome to our last asynchronous class for the bridging program. This is our work plan for the day's discussion. First, we are going to review on the different types of verbs we have discussed. Then, we will focus on the STVIODO sentence pattern and on differentiating the direct object and indirect object. Lastly, we shall have sample sentences for better understanding of the topic. We have two learning targets for today. The first is, I can recall the STVDO sentence pattern. And, I can use the STVIODO sentence pattern appropriately. Let's now proceed with a review on the type of verbs, linking verbs, transitive verbs, and intransitive verbs. All of these verbs have a subject. Linking verbs take a subject complement. Transitive verbs take an object to complete its thought, while intransitive verbs do not take an object to complete its thought. Let's have a look at this sentence. She fainted. In this sentence, the subject is the pronoun she, and the verb is fainted. It is an intransitive verb as the action fainted is not being transferred from the subject to something else. Next sentence. Theodosia feels anxious. In this sentence, the subject is the noun Theodosia. The verb is feels and the complement is anxious. The verb feels links the subject Theodosia to the adjective complement anxious. Last example, Lawrence hugged his mom. In this sentence, the doer of the action is Lawrence. The action he did is hugged. And the receiver of the action is his mom. The action hugged of the subject Lawrence is passed to the direct object his mom. Now let's have a quick review on the STVDO sentence pattern. The subject, transitive verb, direct object. The subject is the doer of the action. The transitive verb is an action verb that expresses a doable activity and the direct object is the receiver of the action. Let's have an example. Lafayette loves friends. Lafayette is the subject. The word loves is a transitive verb because it is a doable action that needs a receiver. Therefore, the receiver of the action, loves, is friends, or what we call the direct object. Our knowledge on the STVDO sentence pattern is very important for us to better understand our lesson focus for this class. This is the STVIODO sentence pattern. S still stands for subject, TV stands for transitive verb, IO stands for indirect object, and DO stands for direct object. We have learned that a subject is the doer of the action in a sentence. It can be a noun, pronoun, or group of words that acts as a noun. A transitive verb is an action verb that has an object to receive that action. It takes one or more objects to complete its thought. An indirect object is the indirect receiver of the action, or it receives the direct object. It also answers the question for whom or to whom the action is done. A direct object is the receiver of the action. It could be a noun or noun phrase that receives the action in the sentence. The direct object answers the questions whom and what. Let's have example sentences to understand the STVIODO sentence pattern. Theodosia writes me a letter. To identify the subject, ask, who writes the letter? Therefore, Theodosia is the subject. To identify the transitive verb, ask, what is Theodosia doing? Theodosia is writing. So, writing is a verb, but to know if it is a transitive verb, you have to look if there is a receiver of the action writing. After the transitive verb, there are two objects. The object me answers the question, for whom is the letter Theodosia is writing? While the object a letter answers the question, what did Theodosia write? The letter directly receives the action writes, while me indirectly receives the action. Therefore, me is an indirect object, while a letter is the direct object. Again, what's the difference between indirect object and direct object? Indirect object answers the question to whom, for whom, 
and for what in the sentence, while direct object answers the question who, whom, and what. Let's have an example. Alexander built palaces. The direct object answers the question, what did Alexander build? Therefore, palaces is the direct object. Hence, the subject is the doer of the action, Alexander. And the transitive verb is the action of Alexander, built. The direct object is palaces. Let's have another example. Alexander built Eliza palaces. The answer to the question, for whom were the palaces built by Alexander, tells the indirect object. Therefore, Eliza is the indirect object. The answer to the question, what did Alexander build for Eliza, tells the direct object. Therefore, palaces is the direct object. In this sentence, Alexander is the subject, built is a transitive verb, Eliza is the indirect object, and palaces is the direct object. Next example sentence, Angelica and Eliza brought Peggy to New York. The direct object answers the question, who did Angelica and Eliza bring to New York? Therefore, Peggy is the direct object. The sentence pattern of this sentence is STVDO. Angelica and Eliza is the compound subject. Brought is the transitive verb. Peggy is the direct object. And to New York is a prepositional phrase. Let's have another example sentence. Angelica and Eliza brought Peggy makeup. The answer to the question, for whom was the makeup brought by Angelica and Eliza, tells the indirect object. Therefore, Peggy is the indirect object. While the answer to the question, what did Angelica and Eliza bring, tells the direct object. Therefore, makeup is the direct object. So in this sentence, Angelica and Eliza brought Peggy makeup. Angelica and Eliza is the compound subject. Brought is the transitive verb. Peggy is the indirect object. And makeup is the direct object. Moving on to another example sentence. George told the truth. To know the direct object, it should answer the question, what did George tell? The truth is the direct object. Again, in this sentence, George is the subject, told is a transitive verb that needs a receiver, and the truth is the direct object. The direct object answers the question, what did George tell? In this sentence, George told Thomas the truth. The answer to the question, to whom did George tell the truth, tells the indirect object. Therefore, Thomas is the indirect object. The answer to the question, what did George tell Thomas, tells the direct object. So, the truth is the direct object. So, in this sentence, the sentence pattern is, George is the subject. Toad is a transitive verb. Thomas is the indirect object. And the truth is the direct object. Next sample sentence. The director and choreographer gave notes. The direct object answers the question, What did the director and choreographer give? The answer is notes. So notes is the direct object. So the sentence pattern is, The director and choreographer is the subject. Gave is the transitive verb. And notes is the direct object. Last example sentence. The director and choreographer gave the cast notes. The answer to the question, to whom did the director and choreographer give the notes, tells the indirect object. Therefore, the cast is the indirect object. The answer to the question, what did the director and choreographer give, tells the direct object. Therefore, notes is the direct object. So the sentence pattern of the sentence, the director and choreographer gave the cast notes. The director and choreographer is the subject. Gave is the transitive verb. The cast is the indirect object. And note is the direct object. 
That's it for the last asynchronous class for the bridging program. I hope that you can now identify the subject, transitive verb, indirect object, and direct object in a sentence. And you can now use the STVIODO sentence pattern appropriately. Should you have any questions, please feel free to message me through our learning management system. Thank you for watching and God bless you!